Dear students, in this question, it is being asked that a parallel plate capacitor of capacitance C is charged to a potential V, and then it is connected to another uncharged capacitor, which is having the same capacitance C, and then we have to find the ratios, the final uh, uh, final energy to the initial energy, as it says. Ki we have to find the energy stored in the combined system to the energy stored initially at this uh, with a single capacitor. So we should know something in in advance. Like for example, if this was a capacitor C, and it was uh, charged with a potential difference of V. If because of uh, V potential difference, uh, difference it was charged. So it had an initial. We can say that initial energy in the capacitor is half C V square, or it can also be written as Q square upon 2C. Now, in this case, I have assumed that with when you when you uh, charge the capacitor on potential difference V, it got a charge as plus Q and minus Q here. So in this case, now I'm bringing another uh, capacitor and attaching it to this uh, charged capacitor. So when I connect it to one more capacitor, then obviously the charges will change and the potentials will change. So I rub everything. So I just or uh, I let it be there. I write the new charges with green color. So I say that this acquires uh, say plus Q1 minus Q1, and this gets plus Q2 minus Q2. So this is the final charge uh, charges on the two capacitor plates. Then obviously at equilibrium, we this has to uh, this is for sure that the potential difference between both of them has to be sa uh, same. So we can write an equation in which we say that the potential difference across these two capacitors is same. So we can write Q2 upon C is equals to Q1 by C. So from here we get to know that Q1 is equals to Q2. That Afterwards, the charge distributes it itself in such a way that both the capacitors, because they have the same capacitance, get the same charge on it. Then, let's find out uh, using the charge conservation. For example, in this component, the charge will be conserved. Initially, it had Q, then it got Q1 plus Q2, and because both are same, we can say in the in the final state, what happened was in the final state, what happened was. This is capacitor C, and this is also capacitor C. Both got Q by 2, Q by 2 charge, plus Q by 2 minus Q by 2. So the final energy we can easily write. Now we can we can write for both. This has Q by 2. Square upon 2c plus the other capacitor q by 2 square upon 2c. So when we calculate this, we get we get it as q square upon 4c. When we calculate the whole, uh, when you add both of them, so we get it as q square by 4c. And what was our initial? Initial energy, it was equal to Q square by 2C. So initial is Q square by 2C. So when we get the ratio of the two, let's see what do we get. When we find U final upon U initial, we will get it as 1 by 2. So this will be the answer to our question. It was asking the ratio of energy stored in the combined system to that uh, stored initially in the single capacitor. Single capacitor had Q square by 2C and the final one had Q square by 4C. So it had half of the, the initial one. So that means initially, it was, uh, initially the energy was double uh, to that uh, at the end. 